I went out to feed the sheep at uh, 7 in the morning with my, with my pickup, and I had uh, the lights on to provide uh, light, and I also had a headlamp on my head. And when I first got out there, I found one of the lambs outside of the corral lying in the straw. And this was unusual because uh, it was a newborn, and it should be in the corral with its mother. And I also noticed that it was really quiet. Normally when I go down there to feed, uh, the sheep are making a lot of noise. Because, because they're always desperately hungry. Well, anyway, I, I looked around and I thought they were still sleeping, but when I had a better look with my flashlight, I realized they were all dead. Uh, some were lying in a normal position and some were lying uh, upside down with their, their legs uh, flailing in the air. They, they were still in the process of dying. And it was a scene of total devastation with uh, uh, sheep kind of uh, stacked together and then lambs uh, scattered to, throughout the corral. And so I went in and had a... I look around to see just how bad the situation was and whether or not the cougar was in, in there. I actually had my, my shotgun along with me just in case it was uh, down there. And so I checked the place out, uh, looking at the injuries and determined that there were uh, 20 dead ewes, two dead rams, and 16 uh, dead lambs. Fish and Wildlife had some dogs and so they, they let the dogs out and they got the scent of the cougar around the corral and they all tore off up the hill into the forest uh, looking for this cougar. And the hounds got the scent of the cougar really quick and followed it into the forest and were able to tree it. And at that point, we, we knew that uh, we were going to get rid of this cougar. I was worried about it coming back again uh, to kill the rest of the sheep that it hadn't killed already. We have uh, eight surviving adults and, and two lambs out of a flock of uh, over 50. We had to doctor up the ones that were injured, so we were working until about 9 o'clock uh, um, fixing up puncture wounds uh, with disinfectant and uh, uh, we gave them antibiotics so that the infections wouldn't spread throughout the body. And they've at least survived uh, the night and we hope that they survive uh, more than just uh, uh, today and uh, last night. And uh, As a shepherd or a livestock owner, you come to know some of the animals and some of them really well particularly those that you keep several years, such as uh, your rams and, and your ewes. And each one has its own character. And uh, they get to know you really well as a shepherd, and they'll put their trust in you. I've seen lots of cougars here. Estelle was the first one to, to see one that I'm aware of. Well, we've uh, done this since uh, 1995, and so it's become a kind of a part of life. Although it may not be that profitable, uh, we've kind of got to, to like it. It gives us an excuse for living out here in the country and ha having this land. Uh, I don't know, I'm just going to kind of stick my head in the sand and uh, wait for a few days, I think, and uh, kind of recover from this, and we'll decide uh, what we're going to do. We'll need to get some new rams, at least, and uh, some new breeding stock, like we're pretty much wiped out.